Hey guys, David White here again. Uh, so I just want to show you how to max things out um, when designing. So for instance, you're drawing something because someone asked me for this. So I'll be showing you how to max. So recently I've been using frames to max things out so if i wanted to max this i would duplicate it reduce the size so it's not bigger than the frame and then i can move it in and then max it by enlarging it to get particular points that i want to max so this is one way you can do this but let's say for instance i only want to keep her face or i probably want to put her in uh, a special shape let's say shape like triangle so if I draw a triangle here and I want to put her in this triangle I'll reduce the size of this first bring this up here I know usually we do this for circle so I'm going to bring a circle as well I'm going to draw a circle and that's it uh, yeah all right so we have two shapes so it's circle and a triangle and I have two images because I've pressed Ctrl D and I've duplicated that so to do this I'd have to bring this to this image so if you're using if you've you ever used Illustrator this is how you max you put the image downwards and the shape on top and then you right click and you will find use as max but in this case I'm actually going to put this downwards select both of them you can either right click and do use as max or you can come up here to this half um, circle use as max and it's going to max it all right with that you can even move the shape around so i'm selecting the shape i can move it around to any parts of the body i want to show and yeah i'll just leave it like this and that's how you max I'm going to do the same thing for the other one uh, yeah for this one and I'm going to max it so select both of them same thing bring this upward send this downwards select both of them and max and I can select the image and move the image inside of it until I have something suitable for what I want to use and that's how you max that's pretty much how you max all right there are other ways that you can max and um, it comes from when you have things like pngs i'm not so sure i have okay so if i have um if i want to max in a custom shape i want to like max a custom shape out of this because i draw so i'm going to do this very simple you just need a vector to be able to max so i'm going to choose the uh, pencil tool and I'm just going to draw a shape going around here and here and here aha just freehand drawing um, yeah you can practice more and definitely get it so you have to lock it anytime you draw with the pencil tool you have to lock it so that it crosses the line if not it won't work all right so I have this custom shape now if I select the shape and select this and max it I won't see anything because it maxes on the line so you're going to see this are you seeing this you won't see anything so how do I correct this I have to give my shape my new shape a color a fill so select the fill close out the stroke select the image send this shape downwards select the image and then voila that's it so you have custom shape you can use for your designs and whatever you want to use it for is now up to you all right you can also select this select the vector down here duplicate it click this one um, click the users max is going to unmax it but not the actual image that is maxed so now I have that shape again and then I can use my edit object tool select this point i just want to create some kind of um, color at the top there so move it upward 
you can see what happened so I'm moving it upward and yeah so I have a shape beneath it now I can move the shape around if I select the shape I can like send it out you get the point all right so with that I can use my pen eyedropper tool the eyedropper tool is I just press I on your keyboard and you grab it and I can pick color like this or you know what let's pick something like this yeah and with this we can create a frame so I can just create a frame and uh, that's it move this into the frame and we have ourselves a design all right let me know if this was helpful and let me know what other videos you may want to see and i definitely would make out time to create them for you i'll see you guys in the next one and until then keep creating magic bye bye